Welcome to the series of videos I'd like to call Why do I like particular ship in World of Warships? In this case, why do I like Japanese class 2 destroyer Yumi Katsu? Well, let's look at the... Uh, as you can see, it has four torpedo tubes for each setup, right here. If you look at the details in it, on it, but of the ship overall, we get 120mm guns. And uh, secondary load time, not the greatest reload time, but we're not going to be using guns a lot at all. And that's why we don't really care that they not do that much damage over speed. Now, hull wise, well, we got uh, 10,300 hit points, which is pretty good for destroyer, I guess. And, uh, for, and the armor is 6.5mm. As you can see, so far the hull and the guns is like class 1 cruiser. But this is a class 2 destroyer, and we're not gonna get the same stuff as we get on class 2 cruisers. So we're getting over on all those parameters because we're getting something else. We're getting torpedoes in we be getting torpedoes that have a reload time of 24 seconds, which is great because it allows us to spawn them out, a lot of them. They do a serious enough damage of 6,800 um, points. The speed is 48 knots, which is very slow actually. But the torpedoes are much harder to detect. So the, the enemy will not see them until they're very close and therefore have a harder time dodging them. Torpedo range is 8 kilometers. Gun range is also 8 kilometers, which is pretty good. That means we have to be pretty much the same distance away from the enemy. The propulsion is 33 knots. That's a that's a very good speed, and that's what we need in order to be able to constantly move away from the enemy, not to be close to them, because our speed is what keeps us alive. So this also has three guns, and one on the front and two at the back. That um, that. There you go, you can see that the guns have no gun shields. Alright, well, let's get right into the battle. Hopefully we can jump very quickly into the battle. And I'm hoping for a larger type of battle because we want a lot of uh, enemy ships that we can shoot at. Since the ability to spawn out lots of torpedoes is what our main strategy is. Now, Yumikaze was designed after Russo-Japanese War, when the Japanese realized that they don't really have destroyers to adapt to the task uh, in, order to, in order to fulfill the task that they assigning to them. Therefore, they, they kind of adapted a certain amount of uh, British technology, a certain amount of the, the British technology they bought, the new Mikaze, and another ship of its class. There was only two ships of that class built. After that, they went on to build the other destroyers. However, by the beginning of World War I, Yumikatsu was a very solid destroyer, it was very good, it was one of the top of its class, uh, it was destroyers of our own, the world, but it didn't really see that much combat, it mostly did a lot of patrolling, it uh, patrolled the area between Hong Kong and Shanghai in hopes of intercepting the Admiral Spree squadron that was supposed to be passing through there, it didn't pass through there, so it didn't really see that much action there. So overall, it had a, well, not that much of a into the military career, not, not, nothing really Fantastic level thing. Well, now I'm hoping that I'm going to get into the game very soon. The approach that I usually take is that I, like I mentioned, I spawn a lot of torpedoes out. That is that I want to have a lot of enemy ships so that I can spawn the torpedoes out, add them, which will cause the enemy to be concerned dodging out, out of the way of the torpedoes to fire at me. And number two, there's going to be too many torpedoes, so eventually somebody's going to get hit because can't dodge all of them. So hopefully I can demonstrate this uh, uh, approach. So far I've been trying to re-record this video a few times and each time because uh, there's always different uh, situations that are happening that sadly and you know not making this thing work out. The first video was the best one but the sound recording failed so yeah. Hopefully, hopefully, come on, I'm going to be in the game very quick. Looks like the time of the day that I'm recording this is also not that kind of thing. Well, now we're getting a lot of players within our range. Hopefully, some of them playing a class 2 because that's the classes that we paired with. We're not going to see much class 1 in terms of uh, class 1 cruisers, in terms of uh, fighting. Range shall do it. That happens every often.
might take quite a while for me to battle. Come on, come on, come on. Maybe that uh, during the day, uh, North American servers most people are playing are higher classes. Uh, they're not playing that many. That's why it's hard to get. Oh, oh we are in. Took about four minutes for us to get into the game. Hopefully, it's gonna be a bigger game, not a small one. Um, yeah, okay, that's not too bad. Not too bad. All right. So, get point. Full speed. We wanna. Pretty much go forward as quickly as possible. Don't want to be doing anything into the really that that uh, you know close to our own ships because we're gonna be firing on torpedoes and it's not exactly the greatest thing to lose to when you have a lot of your own ships at the same time because you're more likely to hit somebody not your own. So I'm gonna go forward here. Um, since we am doing one of two destroyers here, is therefore my job to do reconnaissance in this case because as a destroyer, I'm much more quickly, quickly, and able to Good luck, look everyone. over things very quick, nicely. Get the torpedoes ready. And it looks like there might be some contact soon. Fire narrow arc torpedoes that's a longer range and a wider arc on the range. I find that better. Right here is our enemy. High chance they're gonna spot us, so we gotta give ourselves a bit of speed and get out of here. And here is the first shots coming at us. Problem solved, sir. Now we fired off a bunch of torpedoes in that general direction of the enemy. That's pretty good. Now we're gonna turn again, so that we can get ourselves the And here there are more torpedoes, so we start firing off more. Like I said, I'm not really aiming there, I'm just trying to spawn out as many as possible. I'm gonna go slightly slower, so we can take in the side of smoke for as long as we can. Hopefully not.
All right. All right, we got one hit on us. Ah, my torpedoes are late. Catches those torpedoes. Yes. Got all four. There we go. So now we're gonna go more catch. Who hit me? But you, you, you pretty much saw the situation now. What we're doing, we, me, I'm not gonna try to re-record this again. Now. Right? Uh, we constantly, constantly, constantly outputting a lot of tor tor torpedoes. Why? Because eventually there's gonna be too many for the enemy to re effectively dodge. But that uh, another ship of uh, the Allied ship Freant went ahead uh, was actually managed to sink another destroyer. Well, oh, that guy got stuck and we fired off purpose in that general direction to help with that destroyer as well. But, uh, you know, we didn't. Because we managed to deal with it faster. It. But, like I said, the advantage of this uh, uh, ship is the ability to fire off lots of lots of lots of torpedoes very quickly. Fire a fire a large number of them. The enemy is too preoccupied trying to dodge and move out of the way. They end up here catching those stuff. Or they're unable to fire at you because they're, they're too busy dodging. Because they're too busy firing at you, you can't see you the dodge because they're trying to aim. From that perspective, I would say you know, the sh that's one of the reasons I've got to say that that would be like. As in, it's because of this ability. I don't really need that much time trying to get my torpedoes hit. I'm spending more time making sure that I'm in a situation where I can launch off a lot of torpedoes. I'm not very much targeted to this case. I was very much constrained in terms of ability to move around. It's not a very narrow area for me to move around. But then I did manage to fire off a lot of shots. And I managed to hit this four. Alright, well thank you for watching and for listening.